Hi, I'm Sam, Technical Sales and Support Engineer here at Digico. In this video, we will be going over the latest updates to our Digico console software. For those who haven't upgraded recently, here's a recap of what was released in version 19 last year. Feel free to skip to version 20 if you'd like. Alongside a set of performance improvements, more of which can be found in the release notes on our website, we released four new features for our console software. First, we added in support for the new sound devices A20 Opto IO expansion unit, meaning you can easily add the new sound devices Super Nexus wireless receiver into your optical loop. Second, we implemented a global tap tempo entry for our onboard effects racks. You can choose whether each effects unit is tied to the global tap tempo or not, and which division or multiplication of that global tap tempo it uses. The tap tempo can be set either in the effects rack or by a dedicated macro control. Third, we have implemented a new external control device called Macro OSC. This allows you to transmit custom OSC messages from the console across your network, perfect for firing lighting cues or placing markers in your recording DAW. Finally, we have revamped and added new functionality within our macro panel itself. You are now able to search for a particular parameter when building your macros. We have implemented new ways for triggering a macro, so have tabbed the different options to give a better layout. There are two new ways to trigger a macro. As part of a snapshot recall, or by specific fader thresholds, specific meter levels, or by pressing the solo button. Some examples of real-world use for these would be triggering your global tap tempo from a click track meter with the macro triggering every time that channel had a pre-trim level over a certain threshold, changing an effect send from post-fade to pre-fade once the channel fader is greater than 0 dB, meaning that above a certain output volume, the effects level would not increase. And on Quantum 2, 3, and 8, you can even set up the your console meter bridge light changes color every time audio is heard down a shout line, perfect for getting the attention of engineers mixing out at front of house. Keep watching to find out what we have implemented in version 20 of our Digico console software. Introducing Digico console software version 20. This update is now available for all our SD and quantum consoles from our dedicated support website and details of all the performance improvements can be found in the release notes. There are new offline downloads available too and a new version of SD convert. Now let's take a look at the new features brought in by version 20. We have launched an option for our dedicated theater software for our smallest quantum console, the Quantum 225. This opens up our theater software to smaller venues and productions where it had previously been unobtainable. For those who haven't seen our theater software before, it modifies how our cue lists operate to be in a way tailored specifically to theatrical applications and provides a way to manage cast and costume changes through players and aliases. Upgrading to the theater software on the Quantum 225 provides the same additional channel count and processing as our Pulse upgrade, with 96 input channels, 48 buses, 36 mustard processes, and 48 nodal processes. It also expands the matrix past even the Pulse count, increasing to 24 by 24. If you want to learn more about the specifics of our theater software, please check out our dedicated videos for this on our website. Quantum 225T software is available to purchase through your local Digico sales channel. We have introduced a new dynamics option to the mustard processing channel strips found on Quantum consoles. This has been requested by many of our users, so we are excited to introduce the Mustard Source Expander, or MSE for short. If you know what this is, then it needs no further introduction. For those who may be unfamiliar, the MSE reduces the level of a signal by a given amount when it is under a threshold. This works similarly to a gate, but is better for non-transient signals like vocals or brass. By reducing the level when the singer stops singing, this can reduce the chance of feedback and generally reduce the level of stage noise spilling into open mics. The controls available are threshold, depth, which can go down to 40 dB, and release rate. There is also a sidechain input available. In our previous software version, we added support for the sound device's A20 Opto IO expansion unit to appear in our audio IO panel. In version 20, we have now added further support for sound devices. The sound device's transmitters have an innovative set of control options with magnetic switches on their belt packs and various control rings for the new A20 handheld transmitter. With our new Astral external control device, 
macros can be programmed to be triggered directly from the transmitter or receiver when using the A20 Nexus and A20 Super Nexus receivers. Use cases for this control could be a simple push to talk, unmuting a separate feed to a director in a broadcast scenario, or allowing a vocalist to turn on or off a particular effect send for their microphone during the performance. Finally, we have the launch of our Fourier Audio Transform Engine integration for Digico Quantum Consoles. The Transform Engine is a VST3 plugin server designed with reliability and stability at its heart and has become the go-to plugin solution for live theater and broadcast engineers. Simply connect your Quantum Console to the Transform Engine's control network to synchronize session files, snapshots, and see and control plugins on the console touchscreen. On the hardware side, we have the new optional Fourier interface card, which is installed on the rear of the console and can be specified at purchase of a console or added in at a later date. This card provides a 64-channel in and out connection over Dante to the Fourier Audio Transform Engine. For those looking for full Dante redundancy, we can provide additional control and secondary ports in place of the second optical loop option on the rear of the console. The Fourier integration card also behaves like a traditional Dante device, allowing other devices to send and receive audio to the console through the Dante network. Implementing this integration couldn't be easier. Firstly, make sure that Fourier integration is enabled in the options panel and simply type in the IP address of your transform engine and specify which audio port it is using. This could be the new Fourier interface card, or it could be a DMI Dante card or even an orange box on the optical loop. As long as the control network is connected, the integration will function. Once implemented, soloing a channel with a Fourier chain inserted displays your plugin chain on the master screen of the console. All the visual processing is done within the transform engine, taking no processing power from your console. From this panel, we can now control parameters using the touch screens and the touch turn dial, where this functionality has been enabled by the plugin manufacturer. We also have an option for session and snapshot control of the transform engine. When this is enabled, loading a session on the console will load the session of the same name on the transform engine. The Transform Engine will also follow commands like saving the session. On the snapshot side, inserting, firing, updating your snapshot auto-update state, deleting and reordering snapshots is all copied to the Transform Engine, ensuring that your Transform Engine snapshots, or queues, stay in sync with your console. Make sure your Transform Engine has been updated to software version 1.4, and keep an eye out for many more exciting updates within the Fourier Audio Transform Engine itself. As always, for any technical support on Digico consoles, please reach out to us at support at digiconsoles.com or by calling the phone number printed on the back of every console. Many thanks.